lot of fascinating computer science. It just looks like people using laptops. Here's a little mobile robot with some onboard ultrasonic sensors and a computer vision marker on top so that the computer knows where the robot is. Here's the scaled up version of that. We put the marker in the real world and then we put a camera on the robot. So it knows how to navigate around the world. This is for the NASA robotic mining competition. So here it's mining a simulated lunar regolith. Here the robot's driving back, fully autonomous, to dock with the hopper where it deposits the regolith. The idea in the NASA contest, this regolith would get processed for the metals and the oxygen inside of it. You're also scored based on how much regolith you can extract. A few years ago, we won the Judges Innovation Award for this computer vision autonomy system. Currently, that NASA competition is requiring us to uh, go deep to mine icy regolith deep beneath the surface. So you can see how long the mining head scoops are. Here I'm 3D printing a 65 centimeter long beam. This is for the NASA 3D printed habitat challenge. Every winter you see the Aurora Borealis here. So computer graphics faculty at UAF have built an interactive fly-through where those auroral curtains can be viewed in 3D from any point of view. This actually all runs live on the graphics card. I'm Dr. Lawler, and that's some of the visually interesting stuff we do in computer science here at UAF.